morning, everyone. We're going to have a baptism right now. Uh, baptisms are those wonderful experiences where uh, a person declares publicly that uh, they love Christ, they desire to follow Christ and obey Christ and identify with the Lord Jesus Christ in His death, burial, and resurrection. And so our candidate this morning is Sonia Barclay. Sonia's going to come now. Sonia has been coming to Queensway longer than I have, and the two of us figured it was about time that she got baptized. So Sonia's going to tell you a little bit of her story now. I stand before you today because I have finally overcome the fear of a near drowning in my mid-teens that overshadowed me and has held me back from being baptized. Growing up, I knew God was real, but did I fully trust Him to give Him full control over my life, or I would keep the control of not getting baptized in my control? On May 7th, 1999, I rededicated my life to the Lord at Queensway Cathedral. Having done this, the shadow of not being baptized would continue to haunt me, so I consoled myself daily in having conversations with the Lord about being baptized as to the one reason I could not do it. However, I would say, Lord, there will come a day when I'll be able to take that step. Although I had not taken this step, I still believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and his dying on the cross for my sins. This did not stop me from worshiping and praising the Lord as I knew and believed in his forgiveness. A year ago, I was diagnosed with cancer, and as I was reading Isaiah 41.10, which says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Then that small voice came through and said, Sonia, I will take you through this journey and you will be baptized as your faith will be strengthened greatly and no longer will fear of water have control over this area of your life. Through the journey that brought me here, let it with fear go and letting God has given me peace of mind, strength, and great faith. Ezekiel 18, 31 to 32 says, Cast away from you all the transgressions which you have committed, and get yourself a new heart and a new spirit. For why should you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of one who dies, says the Lord God. Therefore, turn and live. Over the years, I have always had patience, but the journey of last year has given me more patience daily, and now I depend upon the Lord. So when situations come up beyond my control, I do not fret or worry about them. I simply turn them over to the Lord, as I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, it will be taken care of. He is working on my behalf in all things, as I'm reminded in 2 Corinthians 4, 16 to 18. Therefore, do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Why do we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen? For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. I thank God that by His will and grace, He enabled me to do this this morning. He did not fail me. It has taken me years to get here, but I believe in His love for me these many years. And he never gave up on me. Amen. Sonia, 
uh, upon profession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, in obedience to the Lord's command, and at your own personal request, it is my delight to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. scriptures and he believed in Christ and he learned that the first act of obedience was to be baptized there were no unbaptized believers in the New Testament normative practice was to believe and to be baptized so he said to his buddy here's water what prevents me from being baptized? Maybe you've been coming here for a while and you believe in Jesus, you desire to follow Jesus, you understand the spiritual power and meaning of baptism, that it is an identification with Christ and His death, burial, and resurrection, and you've never been baptized. Here's water. What prevents you from being baptized? Right here, right now, this morning. The water's warm. <coughs> Sonia and I are the only two that have been in it. <laughs> and we've got more gowns, and I even brought more towels this morning. So if you want to, you just go out through those doors and I've even got someone set up outside to meet you if you would like to do that, give you some instruction, and you can get it done this morning before the service is finished. How about that for short notice? Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, Sonia, Lord bless you. 